Welcome back. Today's guests say first loves are unforgettable. Please meet Sean. He says he's ready to seal the deal with the girl of his dreams. Sean, what's going on? Uh, well, Jerry, um, I've known this girl, Michaela, for three years, yeah. and I would like to lose my virginity to her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, once you do, you can't get it back. Oh, I know that. Okay. Uh, you've known her for three years, yeah. but obviously no intimacy with her. Right. Uh, are you, like, dating her, or...? Um, we've dated on and off at that time. Yeah. I just haven't asked her yet. But now you're here because you'd like to take it to the next step. Right. Okay. And do you have any reason to believe that she views you the same way? Um, I think I do because... I mean, she, does she we... give you romantic signals, you know, like you're yeah. walking down the street, she grabs your hand, that kind of stuff? Yeah, yes. Okay. Um, like, one of the biggest things is I'll look into her eyes and she'll look back into mine, and I just, I see something... That's the way in... she can see you. Yeah, I, yeah <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I, I see something in her that I don't see in any other girl that I look at. Oh. <laughs> She's special to you, is yeah, what she you're is. saying. Well, I hope, you seem like a really nice guy. I hope it works for you. Um, she's outside the studio, it says here, so she hasn't heard any of this. Here's Michaela. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay, hi, Michaela. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> nice to have you on the show. Uh, so he's saying that you guys have been friends for a bunch of years now. Yes. Oh, well, great. Oh, okay. What do you want to say um, to her? Michaela, I, honestly, I've known you for a few years, and I have feelings for you like I've never had for another girl in my life. And I know that when I look in your eyes, I see something that it just... It warms me up inside. It's just a great feeling. And um, I want to know if you want to take my virginity. <laughs> I have a box here for, you know, that special night. But all right. We have some uh, virgin champagne because we are underage. <laughs> a couple of glasses. You probably set him down because there's a little bit more. There's no way he's staying a virgin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, some romantic candles because I like to be a romantic man. Aww. And uh, some body oil in case you want to. <laughs> in case you want a massage or something. Yeah, you bring that out first. You won't need the rest of the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then, what is that? Oh. Is that for her or you? Oh, for her. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I have this CD because, you know, I want to lose my virginity to you, but it beats to this song, uh, Journey, it's Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a song. That's the song that I've always wanted to lose my virginity to, is this one. You've always wanted to lose your virginity to that song? Yes, to this song right here. Um, but honestly, I, uh, I do, I have reservations at the Holiday Inn. Uh, for us, yeah, res I, uh, I booked some re reservations, you, uh, you know, for that special night. Um, what do you think? Well, it's kind of gross, actually. Oh. Like, I look at you as kind of like my brother. Like, you're my best guy friend, and oh, I just... No. And you know I'm with somebody. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I know, you, I know you've been with somebody. Yeah, I do know that. Um, but the problem is that he's married. He's... The guy... The guy you're with is married? Yes. Oh. And honestly, I don't think that's right because it's not going to turn out well for you because if he's leaving his wife for other women, who knows how many other women he's sleeping with. Okay, but I don't, I don't care what he is. It's none of your business. I think it is because I'm concerned about you. I care about you, and I don't, I don't want you to get hurt like that. Okay, but that's my personal life, not yours. I, uh, I sent a message to his wife on Facebook. <laughs>
sent a message to her boyfriend's wife. Yeah, Starla. Why would you even do something like that? That's a as, bitch move. As I've said, Michaela, that's... I'm just looking out for your best interest. Well, he's more of a man than you are, sorry. No. I don't think a man that cheats on his wife for anybody is a real man. That's not, some, that's not something I've ever done. Well, his wife is watching back. Starless, his wife? Here's Starless. Did you, did you suspect your husband of cheating at all? Never mind her, just in general. No, he's too busy on PlayStation games. Oh. <laughs> That's what he likes about me. He came over saying, telling me about how much you're bitching at him all the time. And I like games, he likes games. So he decided he wanted to rub on something, a real woman. So I decided to show him what a real woman was. Really? So you're that much of a homewrecker? Yep, pretty much. Well. And okay. uh, I just want to watch you. Okay. And when you just before I bring him out, when you watch this, this makes you want to be with her. Yes. Because <laughs> I wanted to be with her. I've I've seen her change over the years. And I've changed so we both matured, both physically and mentally. Yeah, but you, you want still want to be with her husband, even though he's married to her. Yes. And you uh, don't feel bad that you're interfering? No, I like what's between his legs. That's all I want. <laughs> Apparently, it's PlayStation. Uh, here is Richard. Do you want you want to go back and talk to your husband? Sure. Okay. Let's go back. He's back there. Okay. Don't cheat on me. I cheated on you because you wouldn't spend time with me. You was always out with your friends. You was stuck in your video game. So what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to let me know when you want to hang out with me and everything, and I actually found someone that would actually hang out with me. Have you cheated on her before? Yes, I have. But it's been a while. A couple of months? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you still want to be with him? I don't know. Why do you not know? Well, you're cheating on me. What am I supposed, am I supposed to get okay at, like always? No, but you can always give me another try. You can't keep a marriage if you're going to keep doing this. You understand that? Yes, I do. We'll be back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing. Take care of yourself and each other.